from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. Two San Diego County supervisors are challenging Sandag's mass transit plans. So County Supervisor Kristen Gaspar and Jim Desmond say money was approved by voters to improve freeways in the east and north county, but they say Sandag wants to put that money toward mass transit first. The supervisors say that plan does not focus on relieving traffic congestion on freeways as citizens want. Sandag has not yet responded to the supervisors. San Diego City Council member Chris Ward wants the city to set aside nine and a half million dollars from the budget for upgrades to Balboa Park. The focus of those upgrades would be bathrooms and the roofs of museums. Major stakeholders in the park are hoping to reinvest money that had been set aside for the Plaza de Panama project, which has now been scrapped. The stakeholders group says they are encouraging people to write to their council members to ask them to include that money for repairs in the May budget. Today, leaders in Oceanside taking another look at a controversial housing project that would bring hundreds of new homes to the region. The plan had people packing into city council chambers in January and has since been revised. It would add about 700 homes along with a hotel on 177 acres of land along North River Road. The development would be built on agricultural land as in the old plan, which has a lot of residents upset. Later this month, the Planning Commission will make a recommendation to the the City Council to make a final decision on that project. All right, let's go to Megan Perry to find out what we can expect today and the rest of the week. This week is going to be much cooler with occasional showers. Temperatures today in the 60s for the coast and valleys, 50s in the mountains with 80s in the deserts with hit or miss showers during the day. Most of them fairly light, though a brief heavier shower is going to be possible. Slight chance for a few isolated showers to continue into tomorrow, mostly in the morning. Wednesday is trending drier, but a second system will actually bring a slight chance for showers on Thursday with a better chance late Friday into Saturday, potentially lingering into our Mother's Day. Inland neighborhoods and the coast, we're going to be in the 60s through Friday. Virginia? Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.